Hello everyone and welcome to the Elk Show. I'm your host, the Elk. Alright, welcome back to episode 2 of the Elk Show. Today we're going to go over a little bit of the program of Dell ED, I call it. It's called by the Dell Engine and you'll see it right here, highlighted. Uh, get one of their web address like I said in episode 1 and uh, go ahead and grab their program and uh, download it. If you want, just if you haven't done it, you just come up here and we'll go to Dell Engine. There it is. The Dell Tools, the very good, uh, uh, how would you say, a modeling program and or so scene editor. That's because it does both. Uh, and just go ahead and download it, click it, follow the rules and download it. All right. Once you have it downloaded and installed on your computer, you can go from there. They have a very good, helpful community. You can visit the community and, and talk and see what other things are going on. Now, one thing you're going to want to do is uh, also if it doesn't install with the here uh, with the Dell ED is uh, go ahead and grab some plugins and what you mean by the plugins is, is be able to export your different uh, models to different programs so and you'll have exporters and importers the importers are here you can grab them and uh, import them as soon as you loads here okay we're getting there sometime in the future someday all right There we go. Look at that. Then you'll have exporters, and that's so you can import into Dell ED a certain model, maybe from somewhere or whatever, or like I say, go back to the other one, and you can do the exporters, okay? And there's plugins also. All right, that's enough of that. Uh, I'll let you figure that out on your own. All right. Sorry about that. Now let's bring up our Dell ED uh, program. If you've already installed it, I install mine all, always. I, I don't like putting programs into uh, into programs uh, in your C drive, blah, blah, blah. I used to put it in their own directory, and that's how I do it, all right? I put it in C colon forward slash, uh, we'll call it Dell, Dell ED itself, okay? And that's where I install it. Now, one thing about the program, as you see, is uh, I have uh, five views sitting up here. Uh, you'll come up with four uh, views when you start out. You'll have a top, a side, a front, a textured view. Uh, I personally like having all five. I like having my UV map uh, up while I'm doing things. And all you have to do is come up here to the top left and click View, and you can go Add Perspective Top. You know, right there it is. UV and add it, and you can place it, move it around where you want it. You can then lock in your views if you want. That's up to you. You can tile them. You know, and the side will all be tiled all the way across. I don't like that. Or cascade them. All right. Uh, you can change your view perspective on any one of them. Click on them and you can then come up here and you can change them to whatever you want. Uh, there's all kinds of things you can do. All right. And then the options you can set up where you have your, you know, your different things where all your files are going to go and where you're not going to go and, and that. And if you want a skybox or if you want fog and all that, you can do it all there. And click apply and your defaults and, you know, your settings. You'll, you'll mess around with that. The colors of different your grid lines and how you want them to look. Uh, same with light mapping. When you go to send out a light map, we can go over that later. Okay? Your settings here and of course CG. Okay. All right. That's about it for that. Okay. Now moving on. Well, I'm trying to think what else we can do. All right. Now we start out in our perspective. As you see, is our textured view. Let's come over here and say we're going to start out uh, with a cube. And then with a cube, you can start out with one division on each side. What they mean by that is, let's say we'll come over to the top view and I'm going to place it right about there. Okay, there I go. Now I have it. Now you just see that it is, uh, oops, excuse me, well, uh, left, hold the left shift key down in uh, the left button and click it. Now we've selected it. Now we'll come over here to object and you'll see that we have six polygons. There's six sides to this. And in reality there's 12. Okay, there's really 12 polygons. And I can show you that right now. If we go to triangulate up here on the top, top and we go allow uh, all polygons in this selection, normal triangulation, and I'll click OK. And look at that. Now we have 12 polygons. And that in reality, that's what you have when you're working with LED. You're, Every polygon has two polygons to it, so always remember that. I don't like running in that mode, just the way I am. You can run that way if you'd like, but that's fine. Okay, 
So now we have that out of the way as far as polygons. And remember, you want to keep your polygons to as little as possible because the more polygons, the more edges, the more vertices on anything you're doing is going to slow down the rendering of it and make your game go real slow. All right. So there. Now we have our little our little cube. Now let's say I wanted a, a different cube with more uh, on the sides, more more uh, we'll call it uh, poly. So I can change this setting here to six here. We'll go three. Let's see, go three there if I want it, and now we'll go three there. And I'll slap another one down. Let's put it right about there. There he is. And let's go over here and look at him. Oh yeah, look at him. All right, hit the left shift key and the left. Excuse me, hit the left key. <laughs> shift key in the left mouse and now you'll see look at we have subdivided it into one two three four you know on each side so we have a poly on each side of that cube versus the other one we left hold the left shift key down in the left mouse now we don't look at the difference all right all right there's our cube now there's other things we can do let's say we want to do a cylinder a cylinder again you can set your size how what you want and that and the matter depending upon where you put it if you put it in the top side or the front will determine which way it's going to come up down or left or right all right so I'm going to put it on the top I'll just put it right there and as you see now it's on our picture let's come in real tight there it is all right now we're going to hold the left shift down and left mouse key down grab it there it is all right now I want to scale it okay I like to scale it manually so we'll just scale it up just keep holding down your let go of your left and just hold the left down, mouse key down and just keep holding and pulling there you go and you'll have a nice big cylinder problem is look at it oh it goes all the way down go right now let's just uh, let's just scale that width let's look at it where it's at uh, we have our height at whoa look at that height 11,520 that's a little high isn't it I think so too so now we'll go back to it grab that cylinder and let's go our height let's just bring it down to reality here let's put it at 50 as you see in the bottom right here I'm working with it and hit it look at there and now we're down to a more reality size all right all right now uh, we can click and we can move it if we want we can bring it over here we can bring it down a little bit line it up as you see right here in our side view if we hit here and expand it a second and look at it we can come up on it tight and look over at we can bring it down look at that get right on that nice line nice and tight all right and there we go that's it a little bit some of the stuff you can do. Also remember using your up, down, left, right arrow keys and holding, you know, holding down your right mouse button, using your left, right, down, see, left, right arrow keys, up, down, you can play around, you can move around. All right. And that's holding down the mouse, right mouse button. You can scroll in with your center scroll wheel if you want and you know all kinds of viewpoints on that. All right. Well, that's enough of that one, huh? <laughs> all right. Let's move on. Now, let's say I want to have a flat surface to work with. That's be your rectangle. And as always, like I, I'm going to say, is you can put in a double-sided, as you can see, double-sided, and that means there'll be poly on each side of the rectangle. Now, let's come up here to our top viewpoint, and I move it by using holding down the center mouse button, holding it down to get there, and then I take my left mouse button and move that cursor right here, as you see me in the middle here in the top view center, and I'll click there, hold down the left mouse button, grab it and just go let's see let's expand it to where we want that looks good now it's going to snap into place and the reason why it snapped into place is it's perfect now it's because down here on the bottom left I have snap on now you don't always have to have that on but when you're doing something like that you want it nice and tight to the grid you can F8 F8 will turn off the snap see it's off and on all right so depending upon what you're working with will determine if you want that snap on because sometimes you can have a block and pop it down on the grid and hit it'll it'll go flat on you all right <laughs> turn off the snap and you'll be fine all right there we go now we've done that so now we have as you see we have a one-sided rectangle if we go on the other side hey there's nothing there it's invisible isn't that awesome so anybody if you're playing a game that's all they're going to see is this top all right now that we've got that underway that looks pretty good now uh, let's see. Let me think about what else we can do next. I'm going to take a five-second break, and I'll be right back. All right, everyone. That's it for today from the KI Studios. This is the Elk saying, I'm just your common man going with the flow of life. Goodbye from the Elk Show, and thanks for tuning in.